Have you ever needed to measure just a few characteristics in Calypso, but ended up running the whole program? It's a waste of time, and in production, every second counts. Today, I'll show you how to fix that with mini plants. We'll cover why you need them, when to use them, and of course, how to create them step by step in Size Calypso. Just a short request before we continue the video. If you find the information from my videos helpful, please hit subscribe. It really supports the channel. Right now, over 80% of people who watch my videos aren't subscribers yet. So your support helps me create more practical metrology content for you. Now, back to the video. Thank you. In metrology, there are cases where we must measure everything from the technical drawing. For example, in an ISIR or a PPAP. But most of the time, we don't need to run the full program. For example, you might be doing first part, last part inspection, product audit sampling, or a quick analysis requested by production, to troubleshoot a problem with a workpiece. In these cases, running the full program is not just unnecessary, it's inefficient. There are two ways to sort what you want to measure in Calypso. Manually selecting the characteristics from the characteristic window and then go to run and select current selection and run from the current selection. This works fine if you only need to do it once or twice. But if you're repeating it often, it becomes a productivity killer because you have to select over and over the characteristics and maybe you're not the only one who is running the measurement plan. And the second way is to use a mini plan. This is a smaller dedicated measurement plan created from your main program that runs only the characteristics you've chosen. The best part, once it's set up correctly, anyone using the CMM can run it. For this example, I have prepared a technical drawing of a workpiece and identified the inspection characteristics I want to measure for a first part, last part process. My full measurement program is already open in Calypso, so the first thing I'm going to do is to select the characteristics. Right click on the first one, then hold Ctrl and click the rest. Now go to the Plan tab, Mini Plan and Define. Give your mini plan a clear descriptive name, for example, FPLP for first part, last part, and click OK. To verify if it worked, go back to plan, mini plan, then show. In the characteristic tab, you should now see only the ones you selected. Then go to the run window. Switch from measure all characteristics to the empty box. Here, you'll see your list of saved mini plans, select the one you want and run it. Mini plans are powerful, but they're not for every situation. In some cases, they can create inconsistencies in data if not managed properly. I've covered the details, including how to edit or delete mini plans in a members only video on YouTube and Patreon. If you're a member, you can watch it right now. Thank you for watching and until next time, stay precise.